出的。Manning Enterprises。Excuse me. What are you doing in my office? Kate Howard, right? Right. Sorry, I don't know why I did that. I. It was a disingenuous remark. I know exactly who you are. We haven't met. I'm Todd Manning. This is my office. I guess you missed a couple things when you were locked up for what you did to my daughter. It never occurred to you to notify me of this. Well, you know what? I want a copy of that paperwork sent to my attorneys today. No, it is stipulated in the initial agreement that I keep editorial control of Crimson. Yes, I intend to do that. What are you doing? Why don't you lay it out for me? Okay. So I don't miss anything. I bought controlling interest in a, a company called LuxCorp.、Um, the holdings include Port Charles Press, which I relaunched as the Sun. Cable news, app developers, a sports publication that I'm really looking forward to expanding, and some magazine called Crimson. And since I bought the magazine, I also decided to lease the office space. Oh, I see. Yeah, I, I don't know if you're a magazine editor, but you have great taste in real estate. These are the nicest offices in the city. I like this building so much. I lease two more floors in this building. Well, I co-own this building. I know that. I know you and Carly, but you're contracted to a leasing agent. I made the deal with them. I did. You can check it out if you like, but I'm pretty sure that my lawyers made the contract airtight. So, Mr. Manning, you co-own my office space, my and you have ownership of my magazine. My magazine. My magazine. My magazine. Why don't you lay it out for me again, Mr. Manning? What do you intend to do with Crimson well, Magazine? Well, I'm not sure yet, but how many photographs of anorexic women in unfortunate dresses does the world really need? Okay. What about the human cost? Do you know how many people Crimson employs? I'm、mm? not sure, but I'm not going to publish a magazine unless it's making money. And it hasn't. Well, not since you started experiencing difficulties. I can get Crimson back on track. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe I should just cut my losses. Well, this is one sure way to get payback, isn't it? What? You think that's what this is? Well, isn't that what this is about, Mr. Manning? What I did to your daughter? I read the paper today. You obviously know that she spoke for me in court. Yeah. Well, Star is a really good person. Mm-hmm. She's compassionate, forgiving, almost to a fault. What do you think? You don't think I got what I deserve? I don't think Kate should go to jail. I think Kate's a good person. Thank you, I appreciate Connie, that. Connie, on the other hand, is gonna lock her up, throw away the key. I'm sure, Star told you why she has so much compassion for you. My sister has DID. She struggled with it for years. Victoria Lord, I read the book. Yeah, the book was a hack job. Didn't even spell her name right. Didn't come close to telling the truth. How hard she's worked. How much courage she's shown. Are you worried Connie's gonna come back? Well, what if she does? Who's next on your hit list? Because I don't have any more grandchildren. My psychiatrist says that I'm fully integrated. Vicky would say the same thing, and she would remain integrated for years at a time until some stress would come, some trauma, and then her alters would come back. You cannot assume that I'm going to end up like your sister. You are nothing like my sister. Look, I am confident that Connie's <laughs> gone for good. My psychiatrist helped me remember what caused the split in the、oh, first okay, place. Okay, great. Let's talk about that. I want to hear about that. Excuse me. Risk assessment. If I know what made you bonkers in the first place. I can determine what kind of liability you are. What、uh, what are the chances that you're going to have a relapse? Look, suffice it to say, it was very traumatic. I blocked it out for many years, and now I've remembered almost everything. Right, almost everything, but not how you killed Cole and my granddaughter. That you conveniently forgot. Connie is gone for good, Mr. Manning. All right. Yeah, yeah, She doesn't have to protect me anymore. I hope that for everyone in this town. What about my magazine? I'll get back to you. When? I don't know, but not today. <clears throat> Lighten up, Miss Howard. It's Independence Day. Why don't you go celebrate yours? I know. Well, I know it's a holiday, but most people adhere to certain basic courtesies, like watching where they're going. Miss Howard, I'm I'm sorry I didn't see you. I was I wasn't looking. You probably don't remember me. I'm from the courthouse. You're the reality show producer. Guilty as charged. How apt.、Uh, we still have some business to discuss. You were acquitted of any wrongdoing. The charges were dismissed. Yes. Great. Then there's no reason you can't sign a release to participate in mob princess. I'm not interested. I, Cappuccino,、uh, please. That's not what you said at the courthouse, though. 
If you recall, you made your confession on camera. You were about to tell us the rest of the story until your lawyer intervened. Well, she told me not to cooperate, and I make a practice to listen to my lawyer. Well, that, that's great. Then, you know what? If you don't want to talk about your situation, we can keep the focus on Sonny. Uh, well, for example, uh, tell me what it's like to be involved with him. You don't or... want my perspective, Mr. Mitchell. You want what sells, right? Now, Christina is a charming girl, but no one would be interested in giving her a television show if her father wasn't an alleged crime lord. <laughs> Legend. So now you're telling me that Sonny is not a crime. You don't know the first thing about Sonny, so keep quiet. Okay, and enlightening. Hmm? And the entire viewing public. Sign the release. We'll go down to Sonny's right now, and you can talk about the entire thing on camera. What do you say? Thank you. Look, I'm not interested in participating in your stupid reality. I story. thought you wanted to set the record straight with Sonny. Let me give you a little bit of advice, Mr. Mitchell. I've been in fashion publishing since I graduated from college. I've been editor-in-chief of not one, but two A-list publications. I didn't achieve all that without learning to tell the difference between a visionary and a cheap hustler. Taking my winning looks and charming personality don't really impress you. Slick packaging can't hide what's underneath. You saw the resentment between Christina and her father, and you decided to exploit it. Look, I told you I'm simply documenting the truth. The truth is that Sonny loves his daughter. But that's not going to get you ratings, is it? So you're trading on a resentment, fueling discord, hoping to cause a confrontation that will tear her family apart. Christina is trusting you, and you are using that to profit off of her pain. You are despicable to me. Okay, you know what? Forget it. Don't worry about signing that release. I won't bother you again. Thank you. But since we're all being so honest here, you're pretty judgmental for a woman who just recently tried to murder an old man and ended up killing a three-year-old and her father instead. You know, for the record, I'm glad you're free. Thank you. You know, I couldn't help but hearing your conversation with Mr. Hollywood. With Sherry Mitchell, executive producer of Mob Princess. Yeah, whatever his name is, the kid's a jerk. Don't let him get you. I appreciate that. The jerk's right. <laughs>